Yo boys and girls, it's Jason here, back from Mr. J's, no, Mr. Jason Farrell, whatever. I must still get used to that intro. Um, today we are bringing you another vlog on the Samsung Galaxy A3. The 700D is over there, it's getting charged at the moment, so I can't vlog on that today. So, anyway, besides the point, we are vlogging on the A3 today. This is my room. Very, very dirty. I need to tidy it up, and that's what I'm bringing you guys along today. Um, I am currently recovering from the flu, so if my video does not show it, but I am, so I've been off work for two days. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm gonna tidy up this room, and then we're gonna see what we can do for the rest of the day because it's just gonna be me, you, the room, and this editing rig over here and maybe take you guys on a little photo shoot that I'm going to be doing like a how to do a quick simple photo shoot okay peace out I'll see you guys in a bit so we're going to be done cleaning the room now um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to on a low budget okay this is no in no means professionalism at the moment on a low budget right now I can show you guys how to take better um, product photos and things like that so if you guys want to like post ads on ebay or something like that and you guys want to like show off the like your best talent and how can i say like you want to show your your product off more and you want to get a, like a sure as hell a good buyer for it um i'll show you guys how to do that right now okay okay so boys and girls as you can see right here right now um there's this white sheet here okay that's my bed there's my kitty cats they're sleeping and a few other miscellaneous there's a toilet roll there that's in the way working in this one also okay so this is white blanket thing here my aunt and him used to use this for a like the inlining because they used to do knitting and they used to inline the blankets with these this type of white material it's like it's just, it's just a normal blanket blanket basically a very thin white blanket you need to make sure the background is white obviously because that allows for you could use paper but i'm just like using this the um, blanket it gives you in editing and everything it gives you a more it gives you a better feel to the image okay so let's get the camera quickly we're gonna get here's my camera bag let's see let's get this open the wrong that was the wrong pocket okay flip this open okay grab the 700d um we could grab the 50 mole so you you think it's here also Let's leave that and let's grab the tripod. Grab the tripod. Don't need tripod's not necessary, but you can use the tripod. Okay, let's just grab it off. Right, that's the tripod. No means a professional tripod, just something to do the trick for today. Okay, and then you can adjust it. Let's just see because we're gonna have it over here. So let's just have a look. We're gonna have it about there. Right, so the numbers of this you can actually see. So we've got the, the camera over here. There's the camera. As you guys can see, that is what it's focusing on at the moment. The white sheet. Set up on the tripod. We got this cheap little tripod and that's the thing. So let's put, let's just do this, let's just do this. Take the 50 more lens, let's put the 50 more lens there. This is going to be our product for today. It's just something simple. Okay. This is just something simple. Okay. Now watch this. Let me set you guys up here. Okay, so that's your guys' perspective. Okay. So now we're gonna try our best to get the subject of the picture in on the camera. Okay. So right off the back. That's how it's gonna look. That's when you zoomed in and everything like that. So let's just show you here. There we go. 
I shoot in RAW and I shoot in JPEG, so we're going to have editing with that, both two. So that's what the camera's going to look like. But if you're not happy with that, and, okay, and then the blanket doesn't look so nice to you, or the paper, what you can actually use, that's when you grab your toilet roll. Okay? So if you grab your toilet roll, you take off about... They come in sheets, so like this, one, two, three, four, five. Take off, break off the fifth sheet. Sorted. Now, this is key. With any video, right, this is key. It's called an LED light. Okay? It's got so many, I don't know how many in here, but it's got different LEDs in here. This is a makeshift thing that I've done. I silicone a tripod head onto it, so you can put mounters onto the tripod, or you can actually mount it onto the hot shoe. In this case, it's the cold shoe. And it's got your battery, and that's what it looks like. Okay, it's a bit harsh, so you can't really have that on your... Well, let me just show you the glare. See that? It's too, it's too harsh of a glare. Okay, so what you're going to do is, you take, your, you take your toilet paper. Let me show you guys. Let's drop this down. Drop it like that. Okay, you just wrap it around it. So that's going to act as a condenser or a filter you see now it's not such a harsh light so if we could put it on if you put you guys back on there and i shine that on there see that right it's that opposed to that where you see all the light you can see on the rings there it's reflecting back right so let's put it back in here and then let's put this on top of the camera gonna go like like that on top of the camera next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some sellotape or gas tape whatever you want to do and you just want to make sure that the toilet paper tissue paper whichever one you decide to use you can use both even roller towel you can do that also whichever one you decide on you can use and then you just want to tape the two edges together so then it doesn't come apart. Okay. If the light is too dim, you can always remove it. It's up to you guys. So let's just move this camera but of course the light was reflecting off the off the lens yet. So let's go back. Let's go back an inch or two in the video. Let's drop the lens the camera a bit. Let's try and pull focus, let's take the autofocus off and let's pull focus manually. You sort of want to get your subject some somewhat in the middle of the cat in the middle of the of the picture. Okay, then worry about the dogs, they're just barking. Okay, so basically that's what we got. It looks a lot crisp with that with the light on it. Okay, so I'm going to take the picture quickly and we're going to put it on shoot. Let's just see if we can focus on the screen. Okay, let me push shoot. Done. Okay. Got the first picture. Now we can take it and we can maybe move it like that in a different way. Yeah, it looks something like that with the Canon logo facing outwards. Now let's see how this looks. We put the light back on, right, and get the picture somewhat straight. Okay, first off the bat, I can see that the Canon isn't straight yet. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on shoot. Done. Okay now that is really it for shooting a lens. We could perhaps put it in different ways. We could really like put it in its side, maybe show off the the fault size and things like that. And push up on there and push it. And okay, so from here we're gonna switch the camera off, 
the light off. Take this out, pop that out. Take the memory card out. Right. And from there, we're gonna go to the computer. Okay, so guys, now we're at the computer. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the memory card in. Wait for it to pop out. There we go. Um, EOS Digital. That's my memory card for my camera. And tell me that crap. Um, let's go to DCM, which is the memory card. And we're gonna go here. I wanna pop up. Go straight to the bottom because that's where the pictures will be. Right. So as I said, I shoot in RAW and JPEG. So the sick, the first one's going to be your RAW file, which is 24.6 megabytes. And if you click on the JPEG, it's only 3.10. Okay. So we took a total of three pictures here, right? So we're going to, for now, we're not going to do the RAW. We're just going to do the JPEG. So it's that one, that one, and that one. So those three there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. And, uh, pop into the desktop. We can call this. This one Canon 50mm. Okay, so let me ask what Canon wrong. Let's go back. Canon 50mm. And we're gonna paste the images here. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna open up Photoshop. And give it some time to open because we haven't booted it yet. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video so far. It's not that um, professional, but it's it's something to think about. Right, so after we've done that, we're gonna go back to the file. We're gonna grab these three pictures. We're gonna drag it to the Photoshop, and we're gonna pop them over there. And we're gonna pop them in Photoshop, and they're gonna open up in the three top tabs here. Okay, so that's your image as it stands. What I like to do is I like to zero in on my subject. So if we take it like that, make it like that, and we just have even months. So that's what somewhere if you don't have the pick the the lens or in this case all the product in the center of the picture, you yeah, you in Photoshop you can always do it. Okay, so you see this nice ambient light that's given off here and there and satellites, what I call satellite. So we're gonna crop that, we're gonna zoom in. The slides over here. That is from the LED light, so it softened the image a little bit. Just take it in a little bit on the side, and we need to go a bit more this way because the picture's not even. There we go. Let's crop it even more. And then what we're gonna go up to up here? We're gonna go to brightness. Yeah, the brightness and contrast, and we're just gonna adjust the brightness. I like to put the brightness on about. Let's just type in forty percent. Reasons are like that because, as I mentioned, that white sheet, like the white blanket, it lets go of all the little bubbles that it has on it. So you can only really see the bubbles. But look back on the background image, you can only really see the bubbles if I zoom in over there. If you want to, you can neaten it up, but otherwise, you could just leave it in there. And it also brightens up the, the lighting a bit on the lens. So, what we can do is we can actually leave it like that at the moment. We can click File, Save. We already have the image, so we're gonna overwrite it the original image. So over there, click JPEG, so we're gonna go to JPEG and we're gonna save and we're gonna replace it. And we're gonna say OK. And that's that one done. Move on to the next one. So this is quite you see this is big open space here. Right? And these are the bubbles that I was talking to you guys about, like those things there. You don't want that in your as a professional edit type of a thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zero in on the subject a little bit like that and we're gonna somewhat bring him a bit down because he's a bit out of the center so something 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 like that we're gonna crop it zoom in looks nice you can see all the all the lettering 49 mole um, filter size we've got two cannons blah, blah 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 go up to brightness again tap on that put in here 40 so that does, it brightens the image up and it gets rid of all those bubbles. If you want to go further, you're more than welcome to, but you see that's what happens if you go too far. Also, not too bad, but I've seen worse, but I wouldn't go that far because then what you do is, with the white background, the white, if you have it on 40, more than okay, 41, it's only really the background that's white in it, right? It's not really the lens per se. 
So, what we could in fact do, if we put it to 50, you see there's not much of a difference. There is really not much of a difference, okay? So, leave it on 40, the background's whiter, it also gives a bit of a, a flare onto the camera. See that subtle white, that's uh, stick on the background image again. See that subtle light in here? That is from the LED light, which is great now because the white of the, of the background is bouncing it off. Like this light in here. The lens is a bit dusty, so we could have cleaned up the lens. Obviously, if it's a new product, this is just a simple way to do it. Click on save. And that's that. Done. Same with this one. Crop it in a bit. Get the, the lens somewhat in the middle. Like that. And click OK. Bring it down, tap on brightness, go over there, tap on 40. I just find this one looks best for me. Click enter, done, done, file, save. Now the PSD, we're gonna save it as a JPEG and we're gonna click save and we're gonna overwrite it. And that's that. Minimize Photoshop, go to your thumbnails and look up professionally these pictures because just look, look at it. Try this technique at home, it works a hell of a lot. Great for posting for your like portfolios of your marketing things, stuff like that. This is how I got my first job, like as, as the as a product photographer. It works, trust me. Simple, even pieces of paper. In, in with the pieces of paper, you could get your um your yaw tool and just your yaw tool and just go over the lines and it will blend the two lines in or you can click your tone, your clone um, tool and you can clone the two pieces together like that that's simple ways to do it also but that's if you're using pieces of paper if you don't want that sharp line like this you just know that's one continuous um, backdrop so it's not really, you're not going to really see a line that's why I can just up the brightness and you can take away um, different highlights and different low lights in different places so the product what do we get? What, what do we learn from this? The product is in focus. The rest of the background is blurred out. Well, not blurred out, but like it's out of. What's the difference? It's the same color, and it looks great. So that is your three. Is your fifty more? Those are your three um, tips and tricks on how to get proper, decent, cheap, reliable product photography. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video. I'm gonna end the video here, so I'm not feeling too great at all. I'm gonna end the video here. Oh yeah, but before I leave, before I leave, this is one I did last night of a cannon bag. Okay, same setup, same place. How, how cool is that, guys? Like, look at that. And it wasn't even in the studio. It was just right there where I did it. When I showed you guys now, that's where I did it. It's nothing extra. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found this interesting. Tell me if you want to know a little more, more about the tips and tricks I have in Photoshop and like photography in general. I'll do something on that. And also there's a lot of more upcoming videos that are like the gaming rig and the editing rig and all those things coming up and the desk tour and the room tour and things like that. I need I need to get this, this channel to 30 subscribers and I'll release the room tour. Okay guys, anyway, peace out, have a liquor one and I'll see you guys in the future. Cheers man.